colors, the Star Spangled Banner, and the Salute to the Flag. of the United States of America. Please be seated. Now I would like to introduce 2018's class president, Nana Kusiminka. Good evening, Mayor Petty, Superintendent Beninda, 
school committee member Brian O'Connell, Principal Foley, parents, teachers, friends, and most importantly, my graduating class of 2018. It is a great honor to be standing in front of you all today. And I truly want to thank you for coming out tonight to celebrate with us. As I look out into the crowd of my peers who represent different countries and diverse walks of life, I realize the glue that has held us together in unity is our desire to never settle. It is that same burning desire that continues to empower us to take the world by storm. It has always been our belief that we deserve more and that we can achieve more. This mindset has given us the strength, day in and day out, to study until we fall asleep, wake up with the dawn and chase the bus we almost missed, and arrive at school where no matter how tired we may be, we still manage to showcase our unique strengths and use it to strive and excel in academics, athletics, and in meaningful relationships. It hasn't been easy. The schools tested our knowledge, but life tested our hearts. Yet we overcame our challenges and developed the resilience and persistence that has made us victorious today. As we go into the next phase of our lives, we will undoubtedly encounter other challenges. But let your high school journey be a sign that you have once overcome your obstacles and you can do it again. As we graduate from Burncote High School tonight, I encourage all of us to celebrate this accomplishment for it's a huge step in our life's journey. But I also encourage you to not be stuck in the midst of this moment. Life goes on and there will be many more milestones and goals to strive for and to achieve. Over the four years, I have had the opportunity to gain a deeper understanding of my peers. With their immense potential, I expect nothing but greatness out of them. As I look out, I see future doctors, lawyers, dancers, singers, and entrepreneurs in our midst. I see brave men and women fighting for our country. I see future parents and teachers molding young minds. I see the movers and shakers of this generation. Oprah Winfrey once said, you get in life what you have the courage to ask for. So as we follow the path each of us has before us, remember to ask the most of the world, but most importantly, the most of ourselves. Use the knowledge and tools we have been taught to make a difference in our lives. Chase your dreams and never settle for anything but the realization of the life you've envisioned. Special thank you to my parents for their continued love and support, to Ms. Matheson for inspiring me to be persistent in my goals, and to all the teachers and faculty who without them this year would not have been so successful. And to my class, we started out as classmates, but I'm glad we are ending as family. I truly believe with all my heart that greatness follows us, and I am so honored to be a part of such an awesome class. Again, congratulations to the class of 2018. I would like to introduce our principal, William Foley, with his opening remarks. Mr. Foley is a graduate of Burncote High School, Westfield State College, and Worcester State College. Mr. Foley? Good evening. Good evening, Mayor Petty, Superintendent of the Worcester Public Schools, Mrs. Marion Benenda, School Committee Member, Mr. Brian O'Connell, Quadrant Manager, Dr. Mary Mead Montague, Burncourt High faculty and staff, parents, families, friends, and most importantly, members of the class of 2018. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome you to the 52nd commencement ceremony of Burncourt High School. Tonight, we recognize and celebrate our graduates as they conclude their high school careers and wish them well as they enter into the next phase of their lives. This evening, we also take the opportunity to express our deep gratitude for the collective efforts of the many people who have contributed to these students, our school, and the community over the course of our students' educational lives. 
To the parents, grandparents, extended families and of our students, I wish to thank you for all that you have done to assist these young men and women reach this milestone. They are truly fortunate to have had the love, support, and guidance you have provided. It has been our goal to help them become well-prepared, highly motivated, thoughtful, and caring individuals ready to take on whatever challenges they may face. We hope we have met these goals and lived up to your expectations of us in this regard. I'd also like to take the time to thank the faculty, staff, and administrative team at Burnquart High School. The accomplishments we gather to celebrate tonight would not have been possible were it not for the efforts that they make on a daily basis. The expertise they bring to the classroom, the kind and caring way they work with students on an individual and collective basis, and the selfless manner in which they approach the responsibility of educating the young people in their charge is nothing short of inspirational. I am truly fortunate to work with such a dedicated group of professionals. We have four members of our faculty with plans for retirement who would like to recognize and wish well. Mrs. Susan O'Malley, Mr. Fred Hamill, Mrs. Ann Reitzel, and Mrs. Frances Friedman. Our wish for them is for a long, healthy, happy, and prosperous retirement. We th thank you. We thank them resoundingly for their dedication and commitment to the students of Burncoat High School and to the Worcester Public Schools. To the class of 2018, it is my great pleasure to congratulate you on your graduation and thank you for being such a fine group of young men and women. You represent the best of what Burncoat High School has to offer and will certainly serve as excellent ambassadors for our reputation as an institution capable of producing intelligent, skilled, and caring young adults well prepared for whatever life may hold in store. The energy, talent, creativity, and initiative you have shown throughout your high school careers has been truly remarkable. I know I speak for everyone in the room when I say that you are a group of young people of whom we are all very proud. As you prepare to leave us, it is my sincere hope that the past four years of your lives have challenged you in ways that you never expected and provided you with memories on which you will look back with fondness. You have learned from your many successes and accomplishments, but also from challenges and losses. These events have taught you the importance of being a part of a school family such as Burncoat in that your success would not have been possible without the collective efforts of many and without the support of friends, teachers, and counselors, the hard times would have been much more trying. I hope that you have learned from both the accomplishment and challenge when in the future you are faced with obstacles or opportunities, you will approach them with confidence, grace, compassion, and empathy garnered through your experience at Burncoat High. So this evening, I wish you well as you conclude your high school career and welcome you to the beginning of your life as an adult, citizen of the adult world. With this position you assume tonight go many rights, privileges, and freedom, but also come many responsibilities and demands for which I am confident you are ready to take on. Congratulations to the, ta to the class of 2018. It is now my pleasure to introduce our Honorable Mayor, Joseph M. Petty. Born in Worcester, Mayor Petty graduated from Holy Name High School, received a business degree from Nichols College and a law degree from New England School of Law. Mayor Petty served on the City Council for 14 years beginning in 1997 and in November of 2011 was elected as the city's 59th mayor. Please welcome Mayor Joseph Petty. Good evening, everyone. I want to recognize uh, City School Committee Member John Monfredo, Brian O'Connell, Superintendent Benenda, honored guests, parents, members of the faculty, and the students of the class of 2018. I want to recognize Principal Foley, the administrators, teachers, and staff who work together every day for the success of this school and these students. Doing a great job, what a great turnout too. Give yourself, give the teachers a good hand, the administrators, everything as you go.
Tonight's graduation is not just the success of the students on stage tonight, but the success of every teacher, administrator, mentor, sibling, relative, and parent who have worked to keep these students moving forward. There is so much to be proud of, not just with the class on stage tonight, but across our district. The Worcester Public Schools are currently graduating more students than ever before in our city's history. In the last five years, our graduation rate has increased over 10 points to the highest graduation rate of any urban school district in the state. As our schools become more diverse over the last 20 years, our graduation rate has improved. Over the past two years, our students' SAT and PSAT scores have improved. We have more students taking and passing advanced placement tests than ever. Superintendent Benenda knows that as we care for our students in the classroom, so too we need to invest in the whole child. Accordingly, over the last two years, we are investing in the health of our students through increased access to our school-based health centers. Earlier this year, we opened up the new Nelson Place Elementary School on time under budget in the most energy efficient school in the Commonwealth. We will have two new high schools being built over the next five years, and I hope to have a third be entering that pipeline. That will be Burn Code High School. I, so. We invest in our facilities because as a city, we need to be offering not just first class instruction, but first class offering, not just first class instruction, but first class facilities for our students and families. I want to congratulate to the Burnco High School dance team as they placed first in this year's state tournament. The book. <laughs> the boys volleyball, along with both the boys and girls basketball teams, qualified for district tournament play. <laughs> and this year we had a very high participation in our athletic programs and the extracurricular activities including the math team, the mock trial team. Mm -hmm. This year, there's also, as usual, a very impressive arts program, including the Quadrivium team, who this past weekend performed the national anthem in front of over 6,000 convention delegates from across the state and did a wonderful job. The theater department produced five plays this year and competed at the state tournament. The music department participated and produced over 30 performances in the 40 weeks of school. And they had two of their students get chosen for the Central District competition. <laughs> the dance department also successfully produced an all dance version of Mary Poppins at the Hanover Theater. And once again, won the state tournament and once again won the state tournament for the fifth time. It's a nice job. I want to close tonight by saying how proud of each and every one of you I am. I am proud that you have all made it to this milestone. Whatever you do for the rest of your life, you will carry the education you've had and the diploma that you have earned with you every day. You will carry the thumbprint of the Worcester Public Schools everywhere you go. Success comes in so many different forms. There is no limit to where or how you will find it. Knowing many Worcester Public School graduates, I can tell you that sometimes it is most unlikely students who find the most surprising success. I know, just as many of your parents and teachers do, that success doesn't come to us all at the same time, in the same way or for the same reasons. Winston Churchill was born to one of the wealthiest families in Great Britain. Fought in World War I, saw his country through World War II, and left the post of Prime Minister when his party was defeated. He is someone who knows quite well about success and failure. Churchill said, success is not final and failure is not fatal. For those of you who succeeded in our school, understand that there's more life to come and you have to work hard to continue that success. For those of you who struggled, know that there is more life to come and more success to be found in different ways in unlikely places. Regardless of you spent your time in the Worcester Public Schools, know that we will always be there cheering you on through whatever successes or failures throws at you. Because we all know that neither is final. 
and congratulations to the class of 2018. The Burncoat High School Orchestra will now play For Good, sung by the Quadrivium.
Now I'm proud to introduce the valedictorian of Burncourt High School, class of 2018, Diane Kong. Good evening, Mayor Petty, Superintendent Benenda, School Committee Member Brian O'Connell, Principal Foley, and the class of 2018, and all of your friends, family members, and faculty who have joined us here today. I had the option to start this speech with a cliche metaphor, saying, now we close this chapter of our lives, and our story continues. But instead, I decided to start with the thing that's all on our minds. Thank God that we made it. High school is a struggle. As freshmen were ushered in, clueless and naive, trying to navigate a large building when most of us were, or are, five feet tall. Some of us grew over the years. Some, like myself, didn't. But what I lack in physical height, I make up for in the emotional growth I've had during high school. We tend to remember high school for its extremes, the stressful tests or the pure energy of prom or semi. But after being in a brick building from 7 a.m. to 1.43 p.m., four years here really gives way to change. As seniors, we leave a lot more sleep deprived, allergic to homework, and with more absences than we thought we would. Shout out to buyback. But we also leave better people, people who have glowed up both physically and mentally. Thank you, puberty, emotional maturity, and talented barbers. At Burncoat, I've met people who've inspired me. I have been lucky to find support in the most unlikely of places. Even in tough classes, we've bonded through stress. We all know it takes a village to pass a class. I'm grateful for the educators who have left a mark on me, for the ones who genuinely care about their students, and to the Brinko Guidance Department, especially Ms. Con Mr. Connor and Ms. Ferrante for providing unparalleled support and affirmation. I hope that Brinko continues to change, providing a more equitable education for its students. I hope future generations are able to experience a more fully funded arts program, an increasingly diverse faculty, and most importantly, improved facilities. Though the class of 2018 now leaves Brinko, I hope future classes are able to have what we didn't, but nonetheless have the same great memories of Brinko. Now, as we stand on the edge of adulthood, we have our whole futures ahead of us. Let's not forget the village it took to raise us from children to the young adults we are now. I thank my family, especially my mom and my dad, from showing me quick maths to teaching me how to drive and nursing the playground wounds and loving me even through my ugliest cries. I thank them for being my foundation. Shout out to the class of 2018's foundations, be it the friends, teachers, family. With your support, even when things seem too dark for words, we knew to take it easy. For a lot of us, finishing these four years has been a lot harder than what it meant. There were all nighters, breakdowns, failures. High school took a lot, and that needs to be recognized. It should be said that a lot of us don't come from privileged backgrounds. Our families got on boats to get us here. We worked day and night to get ourselves here. We struggled for this. So I have to say, if you made it through high school while working a job to make ends meet for your family or, raising, or while raising a child, or while learning a whole new language after immigrating, or while dealing with a mental illness, you should be proud of yourself. If you made it through high school even when times were hard, you should be proud of yourself. Because at the end of the day, you made it. You're on this stage right now, ready to cross with your diploma in hand, and no one can take this moment away from you. So, to the class of 2018, we made it. Some of us are going to be begging FAFSA for tuition money and desperately trying to make friends in newfound spaces. Some of us are going to be supporting ourselves financially, working full time, raising our families. There's nothing short of daunting about our lives changing like this. But I challenge you to be unafraid and unapologetic with your actions. May you move with a purpose and find passion in the lives you lead. I hope you move forward not looking back to your regrets or your failures, failures over the last four years because everything shaped you into who you are at that very moment, and that person is a graduate. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce the superintendent of the Worcester Public Schools to present the awards at Jacob Hyde Scholars with a master's degree in education from Fishburg State College and a second master's in education from Harvard Graduate School of Education and Administrations. Please join me in welcome Mar Ann uh, Benenda.
Good evening, everyone. Welcome, invited guests, friends, and families of Burncoat High School and the graduates of the class of 2018. Thank you to the Burncoat High staff and administration for your efforts given to the class of 2018. Thank you to the parents here tonight for providing the support that have helped your children be successful. As the class of 2018 ends their time here as students at Burncoat High, what is next for the students in this class? I'd like to share a little advice. Whatever path you choose for your future, be proud, you're a patriot. We are green, live green. Green is the color of balance and harmony. It is the great balancer of the heart and emotions. Creates equilibrium between the head and the heart. Green is an emotionally positive color, giving us the ability to love and nurture ourselves and others unconditionally. Green loves to observe and therefore relates to the counselor, the good listener, the social worker. Green loves to contribute to society. Green is the charity worker, the good parent, and the helpful neighbor. A quote from an inspirational book asks, what if it becomes less about how we look and more about how we care? What if it becomes less about how much money we earn and more about how much we share our good fortune with others? Let's just imagine a world where who we are in our hearts is the ultimate status symbol. Burncoat High Patriots have made a positive mark on the Worcester community. Patriots recognize when others need their assistance and have stepped up to help. Service to community is connected to leadership. Serviani states, today in this world, we need leadership that is tough enough to demand a great deal from everyone and leadership that is tender enough to encourage our heart. The Burncoat class of 2018 has demonstrated leadership, service, and a tender heart. From this moment forward, continue your education, participate in service, demand a lot from yourself. Use your, use your leadership skills to help our community. Congratulations to the class of 2018. This evening we have a series of awards for some of our graduates. Ms. Benender is going to assist me with distributing the awards. Our first award is a certificate of appreciation for participation and contribution to the Superintendent's High School Advisory Council for Isaiah Gomez. Our next is uh, the F National Merit Scholarship is awarded to Diane Kong in recognition of academic promise and distinguished performance in the competition of 2018. The Telegram and Gazette Student Achievement Award goes to Diane Kong. The Massachusetts Secondary School Administrators Association Student, Ach Student Achievement Award in recognition of outstanding effort and excellence in the classroom goes to Rebecca Perno. The 
Central Massachusetts Athletic Directors Association Award for Excellence in Athletics goes to Mayor Gallagher. A second Central Massachusetts Athletic Directors Association Award for Excellence in Athletics goes to Jamie Ruiz. Sorry, but I'd be remiss if I didn't get this one correct. The Maxine Levy Memorial Scholarship is given in memory of longtime friend and Burncourt High School guidance counselor, Maxine Levy. The award is presented to a student who espouses virtues held dear to Maxine, such as pride in their school, involvement in their community, and academic excellence. This year's recipient of the Maxine Levy Memorial Scholarship is Claire Tang. Our next award, the Perfect Attendance Award, recognizes a student who, the course of their four years in high school, attended each and every day, all day, on time, every day. The Perfect Attendance Award goes to Alexandra Bodon. For some, the road through high school can be riddled with obstacles that without grit and determination can threaten to derail even the most dedicated student. The Perseverance Award recognizes the student who despite great challenges has persevered to reach this milestone. This year's recipient of the Perseverance Award is Emmanuel Hebtu. The Patriot Award is given annually to the male and female student who exemplify Burncoat Patriot pride in all they do. This year's recipients are Samantha Ampadu and <laughs> Nana Kusi Minka. Our next award is the Principal's Award, which is given each year to the student who exemplifies excellence across all aspects of their school experience and serves as a true role model for their fellow students. This year's Principal Award goes to Eric Tang. Each year we, we uh, proudly recognize students with a series of academic awards. The academic award for excellence in English is to Patrona Pedro Juan. The Academic Achievement Award for Excellence in Latin goes to Mitch Kramer. The Academic Achievement Award for Excellence in French to Claire Tang.
the Academic Achievement Award for Excellence in Dance to Hannah Bronzo. The Academic Achievement Award for Excellence in Orchestral Music to Alicia Gear. The Academic Achievement Award for Excellence in Art to Annika Nyman. The Academic Excellence Award Academic Achievement Award for Excellence in Theater to McKenna Belton. The Academic Achievement Award for Excellence in Music Choral to Ryan McCarthy. The Academic Achievement Award for Excellence in English Language Arts to Padiki Odija. The Academic Achievement Award for Excellence in Social Studies to Mitch Kramer. The Academic Achievement Award for Excellence in Mathematics to Zachary Olson. The Academic Achievement Award for Excellence in Spanish to Andrew Phelan. The Academic Achievement Award for Excellence in Science to Diane Kong. And our last Academic Achievement Award is the Phil White Award, which goes to Eric Tang. Our graduation speaker this evening is Brian O'Connell. He's a senior member of the Worcester School Committee and is chair of its standing committee and on teaching, learning, and student support. An attorney, he is graduate of Holy Cross College and of Harvard Law School. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce Mr. O'Connell. Mr. Monfredo, Mrs. Benenda, Dr. Mead Montague, Mr. Foley, teachers, staff, parents, friends, and most of all you, the graduates of the great Burncourt High School class of 2018. All of us who speak with you this evening, your teachers, your classmates, your parents, your friends, will say congratulations to you, and truly we all should. As individuals and as a class, you have done much to distinguish yourselves as the fine young adults which you are. Your teachers and your coaches tell me that you are noted for teamwork in your activities, in your courses, and in your sports. You care about and you help others, reading to younger students on Community Reading Day, guiding and encouraging one another through challenging AP courses, doing well by doing your best. As Danielle DeSantis wrote in your fine yearbook, what you leave behind is not what is engraved in stone monuments, but what is woven into the lives of others. You have woven much, happy memories and extraordinary good into the lives of so many. Tonight though, I focus a bit less on your past, even your very recent past, than on your future. And my two key words of advice to you are to quote, live burncoat, close quote. 
That is because you only need to look around your school and its neighborhood to see an area, the burn coat area, that by its example, by its traditions, and by its culture, have one of the most successful, vibrant, varied, and entrepreneurial and extraordinary histories of any region in our country. It has been, in many ways, what hubs of creativity, energy, ambition, and drive, like Silicon Valley, are considered today. And that's probably the first time you've heard our burn coat area described in such terms, and it would probably surprise Silicon Valley. <laughs> But look around you, and you will see right in our burnt coat neighborhood and its history, examples of individuals who defied all odds, who chose not to listen to negative advice, who looked to the future, who planned for the future, who used their imagination, and because they did so, left a major impact on burnt coat, on our region, on our nation, on our world. A mile just to the west of your school, you'll find a company that was founded by three young people who came to Worcester from Vermont to establish a small pottery business. They found that their pottery tools worked best and lasted longer when they could sharpen them regularly with abrasives. They began to make abrasives for themselves, then as a sideline, then finally as their major business. One of those three young men was named Norton. His pottery shop became the multinational corporation named for him now known as the Norton Division of Saint-Gobain. Another young man at about the same time, George Pullman, liked to work on trains. Looking to the future, he knew the trains would soon cross the country and that people taking them would need a place to sleep. He designed the sleeping car, the Pullman, and soon every long distance train in our country included a Pullman car most of them made right here in our burn coat quadrant, just off West Mountain Street, where Pullman Street can be found today. At about the same time, another young Worcesterite, the Kabog Washburn, watched while farmers and ranchers competed for land in Kansas, Nebraska, and throughout the Midwest. He knew that they could share the land only if an inexpensive and easily installed fence could separate their properties and he developed barbed wire, which he manufactured in a building which still stands today in your quadrant on Grove Street. His barbed wire was installed throughout the Midwest and eventually worldwide, making the great farms and ranches of the Midwest and elsewhere possible. Years later, the two Freeman brothers watched the development of nuclear technology and submarines and they knew that specialized valves would be needed for cooling purposes in a high pressure environment. Experimenting in their basement in Worcester, they developed high performance, self-compensating ball valves and later manufactured them right in your quadrant on Lincoln Street as James Bree Corporation. The Burn Coat Quadrant is uniquely rich with such stories of success against extraordinary odds. The little insurance company that became the world famous Hanover, the golfers who brought Worcester fame by bringing the famous PGA tournament to the Worcester Country Club, the small local medical school operating from an old converted industrial building on Belmont Street that became the world famous University of Massachusetts Medical School, all a part of the Burn Code Quadrant, all a part of your heritage, your history. Some of this may sound long ago and far away, but it is not. All of these burnt coat neighborhood success stories, and there are many more, involve young people like you who look to the future, who dreamed of what the future would need, and used their creativity and their imagination to meet that need. They thought, as we say today, outside the box. They did well, and their city and the burnt coat region did well as, all, as well. This is the burnt coat tradition. This is the tradition of energy, talent, determination, and vision that you take with you now. As your classmate Ava Graham wrote, and she is so correct, there are far better things ahead than any we leave behind. Yet we all hope that for many of you, the success you find will bring you back to Worcester and to our burnt coat neighborhood. We do need you. As Burton Potter stated when he spoke at the dedication of Worcester City Hall, Many realize that the true greatness of Worcester is not evidenced by the number and the lengths of its streets, 
by magnificent buildings, its extensive factories, or its great population, but it is found now and ever will be found in the minds and in the hearts of its people. That was true when City Hall was dedicated 100 years ago, 120 years ago last month. It is true more so today. We truly need your minds, we need your hearts, and whatever you do, wherever you go, we wish you all the best. So from all of us on the Worcester School Committee, congratulations on what you've done. Even more so, congratulations on the good you will do. Best wishes, thank you for letting me share this special occasion with you, and every one of you have a wonderful summer. At this time, Mr. Foley, Ms. Benenda, Ms. Stone, Mr. Gibbons, and Mr. Morris will present the diplomas to the class of 2018. Class President, member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Nana Kusi Minka. <laughs> Class Vice President, Jaden Scott. <laughs> Class Treasurer, member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Joel Adade. <laughs> Class Secretary, member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Samantha Apadu. <laughs> member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Diane Kong. Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Anika Nyman. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Persis Adoteng <laughs> Yamoa. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with honors, Kayla Amegbe. Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Nana Anane. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Ukama Asia. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Lillian Balboa. Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with honors, McKenna Belton. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with honors, Eunice Benitez Otero. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Hannah Bronzo. Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Samantha Callery. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with honors, Ian Carpentier. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with honors, Gabrielle Daniels. 
member of the National Honor Society, graduating with honors, Danielle DeSantis. <laughs> member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Andrew Feeland. <laughs> member of the National Honor Society, graduating with honors, Mayor Gallagher. Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Luis Garcia Nin. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with honors, Judy Ha. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with honors, William Heyman. Graduating with high honors, Lena Ho. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Anthony Jones. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Liam Keeney. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Michis Sura Kramer. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Joshua Landry. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Alexandra Lazier. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with honors, John Lee. Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Michaela Lee. Come on. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Kelly Levesque. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Eric Liu. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Ryan McCarthy. Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with honors, Mary Ann Micheni. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Angie Morales. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Mary Murphy. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, Brenda Norty. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Kayla O'Brien. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Tiana Oliveras. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Zachary Olson. Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Catherine Pasquale. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Rebecca Perno. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Tabassum Kadir. Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Jamie Ruiz. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with honors, Yasmin Soto. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with honors, Alexandra Starbard. Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Claire Tang. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with honors, Maria Paula Tapia Betancourt. <laughs> Member of the National Honor Society, graduating with honors, Tori Thorne. 
member of the National Honor Society, graduating with honors, Liza Welch. <laughs> member of the National Honor Society, graduating with high honors, Noelle Woods. <laughs> Abdullah Abdul Wahab. <laughs> graduating with high honors, Cody Abraham. James Acosta. Henry Agreda. Prince Ajiman. Shahad Al Dayani. Dylan Albino. Arturo Alvarado. Candy Alvarado. Regannon Anderson. Juan Anderson Muse. Megan Andrews. Kingsley Anafori. Hafsa Anwar. Kelvin Azadu. Ezekiel Ashima. Graduating with honors, Jason Asi. Alexis Atherley. <laughs> Have two Barrio. <laughs> Lake Barrows. <laughs> Graduating with high honors, Alexandra Bodoin. <laughs> Michael Biggins. Autumn Blodgett. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Brandon Botero Magnotas. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Andriana Brenner. <laughs> Graduating with high honors, Alexandra Berdoulas. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Ashley Burke. Jesenia Caballero. Ariana Kale Zambrano. Benjamin Camacho. Alyssa Candelaria. Hector Caraballo. Kaina Castillo. <laughs> Lovely Cleary. <laughs> Logan Cook. <laughs> Colby Frodo. <laughs> Sarah Crouch. <laughs> Kristen David. <laughs> Caitlin Debs. Tayoka Delgado. Cameron DeLuca. Anthony Denault. Graduating with high honors, Luisa D. Oliveira. Renee Jotas. Jonessa Dorsena. <laughs> Graduating with high honors, Mateus Dos Santos. <laughs> Damian Duplos. <laughs> Hasmides Duque Estrada. <laughs> Angela Economo. 
Kishori Ellis. Justin Espindola. Kiara Familia. Matheus Fasarello. Lisbeth Feliz. Annette Feinpenton. Luis Flores Alvarez. Jacob Ford. Kai Gao. Patience Garley. Graduating with honors, Alicia Gear. Manushak Garabek. Nicole Germain. Kevin Gomez Benitez. Exodus Gonzalez Guzman. Ava Graham. That's another cool one. Misael Guzman. Emmanuel Heptu. Axel Hernandez. Marcos Hernandez. Miriam Hussein. Miriama Jalo. <laughs> Maria Bell Lopez. <laughs> Kendrick Jean Luis. <laughs> Travis Johnson Ball. <laughs> Manina Ketseth. Bradley Kingu. Jared Kingsbury. Caleb Corntang. Destiny Cranwinkle. Tommy Lamb. Christian Lamprey. <laughs> Lindsay LeBlanc. <laughs> With honors, Riff Lado. <laughs> Crystal Lopez. <laughs> With honors, Faye Lucas. Jiraly Luciano Rodriguez. Theodore Lee. Derek Majors. With honors, Tyreek Mason Gale. Dustin McCarthy. Mendel McCoy. Anthony Medina. Fanny Melgar. Linda Verde. Alexida Mendez. With high honors, 
Jose Mendoza Rodriguez. Karina Miranda. Justin Monge. Tomas Montenegro. Carlos Moreno. Ashley Morin. Zalea Morin. With honors, Jacqueline Moina. John Mwenge. Luck Nguyen. Daniel Noble. Brooke O'Connor. With high honors, Padiki Ojija. With honors, ben Benjamin Apari Darko. With honors, Christopher Ortiz. Bryson Ortiz Nunez. Jacob Orsborn. With honors, Haley Padilla. Amari Pearson. Petrona Pedro Juan. Jeswan Perez. Milagros Perez. Armando Perez Rivera. Andrew Person. Jordan Plummer. David Prempe. Christopher Papillo. Hassan Kadir. Derwin Quiles Hernandez. With high honors, Solaris Canones. Emiliska Ramos Baez. Kiana Reyes. Kayla 
Rodriguez Alvarez. Naomi Romanoff. Fidel Rashimisha. Alexis Salvatore. Selimato Sangari. Salimato Sangari. Abigail Santana. Naeem Scavro. Naisiri Sepulveda. Govinci Smith. Christian Soto. Zainal Spahu. Leticia Souza. Robert Spates. With honors, Delaney Spinozola. Ethan Stanikmas. Molly Stevens. Hafsa Subi. Parker Switzer. With highest honors, Charlotte Tambo. Eric Tang. Brittany Tai Do. Justin Tornatola. Milena Humano Tercios. Tamaris Vela. Emmanuel Vera. Peter Waweru. John Weatherby. Jamie Yancey. With honors, Clinton Coraval. Barnaby Popcho. Eddie Santos. Enrique Ramirez. Superintendent Benenda, school committee member Brian O'Connell, Dr. Mead Montague, friends, family, faculty, and staff, it's my pleasure to present to you the Burke Road High School class of 2018. 